Hi, in this video we're going to talk more about methods in Java. So we'll start by introducing methods. And remember, methods allow us to break down our code into reusable parts. So we can make our code easier to understand by breaking it into methods. We can avoid writing repeated code and make our code more reusable by using methods. And we can simplify our code by using methods. So basically, there's a lot of reasons to use methods. They, you know, as our programs get more and more complicated, we actually need to use them. So let's take a look at this program. And here I'm just printing out a few lines. I print out part one and then some equal signs and some stars. Then I print part two and then some equal signs and some stars. And I've highlighted a few lines and I'm wondering, do you see the similarities in these lines of code? We actually have two repeated lines. So let's first remember back to methods in Carol. When we created methods in Carol, it was like teaching the dog a new word. And now when we create methods, we want to do one specific thing and make our code easier to understand. So let's look at what it looks like to define a method in Java. And it looks just like our methods from Carol. So we write private, void, print line break, open close parentheses, and then in between the curly brackets, we actually have the two lines that represent our method. So if we look at a more general method, you just put the name my method, which could be any valid name, but we'll write them in lower camel case. And then we'll look at calling a method. So here, what you do to call a method is you write print line break, open parentheses, close parentheses, semicolon. So just like calling a method in Carol, you can call a method in Java. So now let's go into our code editor and look more at this. Okay, so here I have a program called LimeBreak, which is a console program, and I'll run it first to see what it does. So basically what you can see it does is it prints our line break, then part one, and then our line break, part two, and then part three. And what we wanna do is we wanna write a method. We wanna avoid that repeated code. So we can write private void print line break, open close parentheses, enter, open curly bracket, enter, and now what I'll do is I'll move our code from the run method and actually put it in our method. And note that everything in our method gets indented once. So now what we'll do instead of printing that code is we'll call our method by saying print line break open parentheses close parentheses semicolon. And so if we clear and run that, we'll see that we get the same program. And then we'll go and replace all those print lines with print line break. We're removing all of our repeated code. So there you go. We've replaced all of our print lines with print line break. Now we'll run our code and we can see it does the same thing. And additionally, it's actually a lot clearer to understand because we can see what it's doing. And one other thing is, let's say we wanted to change the length of the line breaks. You know, we want to make them a little bit shorter. Now we only need to change that code in one place. And then we run the code, we'll see it's updated across every line break. So we're changing it only once and seeing that effect happen four times. Otherwise, we'd have to change it in four different places. So this is our introduction to more general methods in Java. Methods let us create shortcuts of reusable code.